Hey y'all, it's Sunshine. Thanks to everybody's help, I was able to get this blanket clean. I washed it in Dawn soap, and that seemed to fix it because I have not, I haven't, I can't find the yellow on it now. And the yellow I knew wasn't a major stain because it was just, what do you call it, attic water? You know when water's been in the ceiling and it turns yellow. I think that's what I call it is attic water. But it's nice and clean now. The Dawn soap helped. I appreciate everybody's advice. Because now I'm going to try to get this sold. And I told you I wouldn't sell this without a companion piece. Because it is smaller size. So I made the matching newborn dress for it. So. Now I'm going to try to sell it as, as a as a piece. Does that make sense? What I'm trying to tell you as a set, as a set, I had, I want to put something right here and I kind of was thinking a 3d butterfly or, um, something, but I kind of want to leave it plain just cause it is newborn and you know, they don't need too much. Right. Right. So, if you have a baby shower you've got to go to or a relatives having babies or something, I'm selling this as a set. Um, yes. So if you need a quick gift, because as soon as I get the money, y'all, that day, that second I get the money, I uh, ship out your stuff. So it should get there fairly quick. Um. And so I got that done, and since I was kind of like in a mode of oh, defeat, kind of, because I didn't know if that was going to turn out or not, I started another crochet blanket. Like, I really need to start another one, right? Right. But I'm going to do it anyway because, you know, well, because. It's supposed to be, okay, let me show you what it it's supposed to look like. And it's not, It doesn't. mine doesn't look like this. I think it's because I use too big of a hook, but you know me and my big hooks. I love big hooks and I cannot lie. It's supposed to look like that. They're supposed to look like flowers. So, uh, it's called the Maybell Square. And um, my Ro it's by Ro My Roads Valley, Maybell Square. And it's supposed to look like a... A... Um, because it starts off doing these, and then you make it into a square. And then you add one more border to make it a granny square border so you can attach everything, which is fantastic. That was a great thought to do so. So let me, now you've seen that, let me show you what mine looks like. My we ends are not weaved in because I haven't done that yet. So I like the idea of a flower center. But that was kind of girly for me, so I, I magnified it a little bit, and I put in some of the, the variegated, the white and the brown. Now this white is um, Red Heart, but it feels so bulky, like it almost feels like a Karen one pound bulk. I don't know, but anyway, it's supposed to look like a flower. It does not look like a flower, but I'm still happy with it. I'm still, I'm not sure what it's is now but I like it and I did the granny square border in the brown to bring out some of this little bit um, I hate this big old center but it's because I use a big hook I don't remember what they're using but I'm using a 6.5 because um, I rarely use anything smaller than a 5 so it's not that bad I mean minus the ends don't look at the ends but you know, I figured, and this is a big square. This is a really big square. Um, I don't have my, let me see if I've got one down here. Hang on. Technical difficulties. That's the way it always goes, huh? I love these flexible rulers. They're so awesome. Um, mine's measuring at nine inches. A nine inch square so that's pretty decent right so I won't have to uh, make too many of them I have to make a lot but I'm not gonna make a huge like 
queen, king size bed or anything like that. But it is a nine inch square. So I'm okay with that. I, I'm okay with it. It doesn't look like a flower, but that's okay. You don't want it too girly. So, hmm. I don't like that. I don't know where it happened to it, but it kind of looks like the picture. But it kind of looks not like a picture. So, <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, that's all I've really done. Um, still working on this one a little bit. I'm not getting too gun ho on it because I'm still waiting on the yarn. I'm still waiting on a pattern to be shipped to me because it was supposed to supposedly that Sunflower Manor one she posts that she mailed it on Monday and it's now Thursday. I don't know. Maybe it's coming out of another country and I just didn't know it. I don't know. Um, but I'm pretty sure it was the American. I don't know. Anyway, that's all I've got for today. So I will try to put the links as best as I can. Um, I'm going to put the Ravelry link because this is divided into making the flower and then it's gone into making the square and then it goes into to, um, putting them all together. So I will try to put the link for you so that way you can have it because I know a lot of y'all get frustrated when I don't put the links but I can't remember everything I can't I was going to tell you um is Maybell Baby Blanket by Annette I, I can't even tell you her last name uh published in My Rose Valley and it does have U.S. and U.K. terms so um you got to be aware of that. Sometimes she says UK stuff and then sometimes it, it shows it side by side. So just be aware of that when you're doing this. So anyway, y'all take care. Have a wonderful day.